everybody, thanks for stopping back to Tech Talk. We realize that when doing a project, one of the biggest uh, expenses you're going to have is right here, the body. There's a lot of choices to make. One, do you find a car that's uh, been in a barn for 25 years and may or may not have a bunch of rust repair that needs to be done? Two, can you do that work yourself? Or, or how much is it going to cost to pay somebody else to do it? Or you can opt, like this customer from Danchuk did, to buy a brand new body. Now, we also know there's choices when it comes to whose body you buy. This week on Tech Talk, we're going to show you why Woody's Hot Rods is the only choice. So stay tuned. For years, the only way you could build one of these old cars was to start with something that came fresh from the factory in 5, 6, and 7. Now, in the last few years, we've changed all that. And now you can buy a new 1955, 1956, or 1957 Chevy straight from Woody's Hot Rods. You know, a lot of what you find that's out there now is, uh, has sentimental value to it, but that's about it. This car has been sitting in a barn for nearly 30 years. And it's pretty typical of what you find out there that's in builder condition today. It has rust in the floor pans, it has rust in the trunk pan, driver's side quarter panel needs to be replaced, and all of that costs money. What you have to ask yourself is, is do you have the time, the space, the know-how, and the energy to do all of those repairs? Or do you have to send it off to a shop and have them do it? Then, it gets kind of costly. Now, we want to show you the whole process. It takes about 10 days to build a body from boxes to a complete body. But in the next minute and a half, we're going to show you a time-lapse video on exactly how it's done here at Woody's Hot Rods. Stay tuned. some, when the welding's finished, so is the job. And here at Woody's Hot Rods, we don't think so. We go to a lot of extra effort to take our bodies and make them as close to what a body shop or what a hobbyist would want when it shows up at their home. We go to the extra step to, first of all, seam seal all of the body panels, just like it would have been done at the factory. We spend a lot of time seam sealing the floor panels in the wheel wells in areas that you couldn't get to once the car arrives at your home, behind the seat braces and things like that. We also fill all of the factory seams. Much like the General Motors did with lead back in the 50s, we now do with more modern materials that are more suitable for longevity in this marketplace. Once all the seams are done, we go ahead and scuff all the eco and then cover the entire body with a layer of PPG epoxy. This seals the car. This car can sit like this for days, years. It doesn't matter. It's protected. There's no bare metal on any of our cars when they leave Woody's Hot Rods. Then we go to the next step. 
We want to make sure that wherever this is going to, whether it's across the street or across the country, or like the case with this car, across the globe, it's protected. How do we do that? Well, first, we weld up a two by two frame that is, that is completely MIG weld, and then casters are applied to that rack. That rack is then attached at the factory body positions on the floor. This car is as good as on a frame from the factory right now. It's just on a protective cart. Now that cart, as you can see here, is wider than the body. So no matter how it's shipped inside of a container, inside of a truck, if it's going to take an impact, the frame or the cart is going to take the impact, not the body. The one other component that separates our bodies from the rest is that our cars are all built and shipped with the torsion rods in the trunk, with the latches and the catches in both the doors and the trunk lid. This assures for two things. One, you have the parts when you need them, and two, the doors and the deck lids stay affixed while it's in transport. That's very important. So we know the next time you enter into a hot rod project, you're gonna have a lot of choices. One of those choices may be to go with a new body. And if you go with a new body, we sure hope you pick a Woody's Hot Rods body. Bodies are built here in bright Indiana by Tri-5 lovers just like yourself. We care about your body as much as you do. And we'll take good care of it until it gets to you. From the way it's built to the way it's shipped, there's really only one choice in Tri-5 bodies, Woody's Hot Rods. Thanks for tuning in to Tech Talk. We'll see you next time.